Are you getting way too many unwanted invitations coming your way on LinkedIn? They could be invitations to connect, they could be invitations to an event, they could even be invitations to follow a business page. Well, stick around because I'm going to show you how you can now manage all of that and even put an end to them all, and that's coming up right now. So here we are on my LinkedIn profile. And first up, if you aren't yet connected with me, by all means, send me that connection request. So how do we manage the LinkedIn invitations that we all receive? Or, or how do we stop getting spammy invitations on LinkedIn. So for myself, um, personally, I'm, I'm quite open to receiving most of them because, you know, I'm a super connector here on LinkedIn, 23,000 followers. But I know for most of you, um, you because you message me and you ask me, you say, look, Mark, they're annoying. And for a lot of you, they are actually just spammy messages. So how do we actually, um, you know, manage that? And, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to click on the My Network tab um, up here on the top. So it's now saying that I've got seven new invitations. Now, only a minute or so ago, it was only saying six. And I've just expanded it out now so we can see all of these seven invitations. Now, first up, I'm going to say I'm not treating these as spam, but I know a lot of you do. Um, some people say they're annoying and, and I can get 20 of these a day and they come in all shapes and, 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 and different invitations. So Adam's wanting to connect with me. Um, Leon's wanting me to like his page. Nolene's wanting me to um, like and follow the page. Uh, Francis, Francis um, is wanting to, inviting me to an event. Dr. McCullis is inviting me to connect and he's even got a message here saying um, he's been following some of my social media topics over the year. Uh, Priya's uh, wanting to connect with me and Bettina's wanting me to follow and um, stay up to date with her page as well. Now, all of these I've got within 12 hours. So these have all come in probably over the last um, 12 hours or so, which is a few, but it sort of comes it, with the territory. You know, with I have a large LinkedIn network. So lots of people, you know, are wanting to connect with me and invite with me and things like that. But how do we actually manage all of that if you want to stop receiving them? Well, what we need to do is we need to go into the settings tab. So we're going to click here and then we're going to click on the privacy and settings tab. And it's going to bring you up this page, which is a behind the scenes um, of your LinkedIn profile. Most of you have probably never seen this page as well. And look, I don't go into here too often as well. But we're going to um, scroll down and we're going to click on communications. And then we're going to start off with this one, invitation to connect. Now, going back, I had um, Francis, or Fra I think it's called uh, pronounced Francis. My apologies if not. Um, Fr Francois, maybe. Francis wanted to connect with me and so did pre oh no sorry he wanted me to invite me to event Dr McCarlis wanted to connect with me and so did Priya so and they're able to do that because invitations to connect I've actually got it open to everyone on LinkedIn you know I'm I'm a believer you know for myself and my business of brands it suits me to connect with people from all around the world but I know a lot of you don't want to do that so you can actually tick the box here that says only people who know your email address or appear in your imported contacts list. That will vastly reduce the amount of spam connection requests or, or unwanted messages. Only people who appear in your imported contact list. So there's a few different ways that you can do this. But for myself, and it is LinkedIn's recommendation to have everyone on LinkedIn, um, but I will leave that up to you. So just by choosing here a different option, that's going to vastly reduce how many invitations to connect that you will get on LinkedIn. So that will deal with then Adam wants to connect with me. Um, who else did we say? Um, Dr. McCullis and Priya. So they're people wanting to connect with me. And look, I've already had a look at them. So I'm actually going to accept these three people into my network because who knows where the opportunities will open up for both of us. And I will accept um, Priya as well. But we've also got these other ones. We've got pages and events. So how do we actually manage those ones as well? Well, again, we're going into settings and communications, and then we're going to click on this tab, invitations from your network. So if I click on that and it opens up, 
And this is where you now have some further options to do exactly what I just showed you with people who are wanting to connect with you, but here it's going to be slightly different. Allow your network to send your page to send you page in, invitations to follow companies and organisations. So you can turn that off. So if I turn that off, then suddenly um, three of these four invitations here. Uh, won't be able to come through to me again. Allow your network to send you um, uh, event invites. So again, if I turn that one off, then Francois wouldn't be able to send me that um, invite to his um, event. And the last one is allow your network to send you invitations to subscribe to a newsletter. I don't have a subscribe to a newsletter request um, showing at the moment, but I'm quite sure within a day or so I will get one. So that's how you can manage those as well. So for a lot of you who are getting unwanted connection requests of all shapes and sizes, and for some of you, you're even calling that spam um, invitations and messages, that's how you're able to do it. And it's really simple. So go to your LinkedIn um, profile, click on the um, the settings and then go into this, the communications tab and let me know your thoughts on, on, on what buttons that you've um, you know, ticked and how you're gonna equally uh, or further manage you know, the connections and the invites that you're currently getting on your LinkedIn profile. And as I said at the start of the video, if you're watching this on uh, LinkedIn, as you probably will at some stage, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. You might actually be watching it on my YouTube channel as well. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling, one, two, three. Have a great day.